do not be discouraged keep an open mind don't be closed off just because you failed one exam that's not going to ruin your chances you can always do better the next time hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new hi my name is bolo and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back to my channel so in today's video as you can see by the title i'm going to be taking you guys through my experience in nursing school the nursing process i have a lot of things i'm going to say that might actually help so you guys should definitely um keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe also turn on the post notification bell so you guys are notified every single time i upload any video enjoy guys without further ado let's get into this video for people that don't actually know, I'm a nursing student at Kennesaw State University. I just started this January. The nursing program is actually a two-year program at Kennesaw State University. When you actually get admitted into the school, you don't get admitted as a nursing major. You get admitted as a nursing interest. So that is your major. Your major is nursing interest because you haven't actually gone into the nursing program. I actually started as a biology major, but then I switched um, my first semester to a nursing interest, basically. Two years is for general and prerequisites so you're taking your math you're taking your english your few sciences your chemistry your anatomy and stuff like that because you actually need to have those classes in order to take the t's exam to be able to get accepted into the program so t's exam is like your sats but into nursing school there are actually two types of programs for nursing at Kennesaw there's the traditional and then there's the accelerated I'm not really sure about the accelerated because that's not the program I'm in I'm in the traditional one which usually takes about um two years so that's like five semesters but I think the accelerated is also two years but it's just four semesters the nursing application process is actually not very hard. I don't think I had to write an essay when I was applying into the nursing program. Before you can apply into the nursing program at Kennesaw State University, you have to have taken 8 out of 12 uh, major classes by the time you're applying. And then when they finally make a decision, you probably need to have taken like all the classes. When I was applying, I actually only took 9 classes. Because the thing about applying is that when you apply, you have to make sure you apply a year before you actually want to be in the program. So let me explain this so if you want to start the nursing program in spring 2021 you have to apply spring 2020 kind of like med school you have to apply a year before you actually want to get in in a year you can only apply twice so let's say you apply during the spring and you didn't get in you can always apply during the fall if you don't get in after the fall like you're not you can apply again until the next year the hard part of actually the whole getting into nursing school and the application process is actually getting in if you are reading the T's and also applied into the nursing school. I think a lot of it is actually luck, but then a lot of it also actually um, applies on your approach to school in general. I would say the main thing you should worry about if you're going to um, start the nursing program is like from the beginning, you have to put in the work. You know, you have to maintain your GPA. My best advice is to try as much as possible to maintain a 4.0. I know it's kind of like a lot of pressure. Nursing school is hard as it is. So you want to make sure you have the best GPA that you can have before you start the program. I'm not saying like you're going to fail in nursing school, but you know, you might never know, like you might not always get the 4.0 like every semester. So you want to make sure that before you get into the nursing program, your GPA is like the best you can get it to be i actually applied with a 3.993 i think yeah that's what that's what i applied with so i only had one b in one of my classes that class was annoying because i was <laughs> supposed to get a b i'll say that was one of the main factors that actually contributed for me to get into the nursing program the pass mark or the passing score to get into nursing um Kennesaw especially is a 78 percent when i wrote the t's exam i got an 82 for me because apparently i've heard that the pass mark to get into Kennesaw state is like 85 and up was like that's the type of score they look for but in my case i feel like it was my gp that really made me the perfect candidates for nursing school when i wrote the t's exam i hadn't taken one of the main classes i needed to take so you're supposed to take anatomy one and two at the time that I, that I applied i had only taken anatomy one and anatomy, anatomy two is the main part of the exam and the time i wrote the t's exam was when the um semester was starting so i had to juggle with reading ahead of the class because i was taking anatomy two when i was writing the t's exam so i hadn't even gotten into like any 
lectures or anything so i had to read ahead of the class in order for me to write the exam and actually pass so when i wrote the exam i got an 82 at first i was like okay you know what like <laughs> i'm not like that wasn't a good enough score for me but you know i had a friend who was in nursing school at the time too and she was like you know what like your GPA is good. They can tell that you are a good student, you know? They can tell that if you come into nursing school, you will probably succeed by just looking at your GPA. And I also passed the pass mark too. So like, it wasn't as if I failed. I didn't fail the exam. It wasn't just what I wanted, but she was encouraging me. So I would definitely advise you guys, like when you apply, make sure you just be optimistic and be positive. Cause I feel like it's just a matter of luck because I've heard so many people that they had like a 3.9 something GPA and maybe they scored an 80 something but like they still didn't get in you know I just feel like it's luck and also you just have to make sure you are you know doing the best you can do I know not everyone is like a genius or something but like you just try and do your best your best will definitely get you there and it's fine if you even if you don't get in the first time it's definitely fine you know you can always try again another tip that I'll give you is when you're in your freshman year like even if you fail an exam like don't beat yourself like up about it too much because it's like you're in your freshman year that just should give you more motivation be like okay so the next exam i need to be on top of my game not everyone is perfect not everyone is gonna get you know it's not everyone that's gonna get an a every single exam you know so don't be discouraged even if you fail one exam you there look for ways to pass you know like, take advantage of extra credits you know that's to boost your grades you know where you did wrong the first time so you should probably aim to get higher the second time you know so that should be a motivation for you to do better the next time do not be discouraged not everyone is perfect not everyone is you know like not every not everyone might get in it the first time so do not be discouraged so the main advice i'll tell you is basically just be positive basically keep keep an open mind don't don't be closed off just because you failed one exam that's not going to ruin your whole ch chances you can always do better the next time but yeah guys this is all i have for you guys today if you guys have any questions definitely like let me know that in the comment section and i'll definitely like you know reply to you guys um but yeah guys thank you guys for watching and i hope that that every single person that is you know trying to apply or trying to get into um nursing school no matter how the college doesn't have even have to be Kennesaw state university it can be any other um college i just hope that you guys would you know get in nursing school i feel like this whole education process is kind of like a lot um people it kind of seems like it's hard but for what i've you know experience for this couple of weeks that i've been in nursing school you know it is kind of overwhelming at first but then when you adjust into it like it's you know you just have to keep pushing pushing take just take it step by step every single day but yeah guys thank you for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope um i was able to answer some of the questions that you might have had but yeah guys thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video